This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. As time has gone on, the pork industry through increased genetics and improved nutrition, uh, one of the results with that is that we've been able to get pigs to heavier weights, market weights, um, a lot more efficiently. And so by doing that, we have the same amount of time that these animals are on feed as they historically have been. But by doing this, they've just gotten to be a little bit larger. Uh, the trend shows that over the last 10 years, we've increased the um, hot carcass weight or the live weight of these pigs, the market weight, pretty dramatically. And so when we harvest those animals at a heavier weight, the resulting impact is that we end up with larger cuts that come off those animals uh, that ultimately result in larger pork chops uh, when consumers go to the grocery store. As a follow-up to our visual study, we actually did a taste panel. So we brought consumers in, and we fed them the pork chops, didn't tell them anything about them other than they were pork chops. Uh, we found some really interesting results. When we looked at those data, uh, we found that consumers actually found that the bigger the animal was, the more tender the product actually was. Whereas if we looked at flavor and juiciness and how much they liked the product overall, there was no differences. But we were able to see in the heavier weight pigs that we did have more tender products. When we actually did the research study, we brought consumers in, we cut the pork chops into different uh, thicknesses. So we had thin chops at half an inch thick, all the way up to thicker chops at an inch and a quarter uh, in thickness. Um, that's because as these, por these animals get larger, we want to make sure we can still market pork chops at a certain weight. Consumers want to purchase, um, for instance, eight ounce pork chops or six ounce pork chops. And so what we were trying to do is determine, can we make a pork chop that's too big for consumers to actually like? Um, our results found that the consumers really discriminated against really thin chops. So regardless of how big the animals got, um, if we cut the pork chops at half an inch thick, the consumers did not like that very much. Across the board, the consumers liked the one inch chops the best regardless of size. And then from a size standpoint, one of the most interesting findings was as we made the animals larger, as they increased in heavy weight, consumers seemed to like those pork chops better. When we look at this, the results of this study, it really is a win-win situation. The producers know that they're producing a high quality product and that if all trends continue in the industry as they look and we continue to get larger pigs over the next 10 to 15 years, that we don't have to worry about the quality being negatively impacted because we know that the consumers will be happier with the more tender product than with a tougher product. And so it's a good news for the industry. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.